Big Three. All right, man, breaking down week eight of Big Three Fireball. Of course, director of Big Three Fireball Operations, my main man, Thomas Scott. Huge week out here, our final week in Dallas, Texas. It was awesome out here. Much love to all the fans. Thank you guys all for your support and being a part of Big Three Fireball. But Thomas Scott, major, major week in yes. the Big Three. Talk about it, starting with Trilogy and Killer Threes. Well, you know, that was the game I was looking forward to see Franklin Sessions going up against Isaiah Briscoe. I just thought that these two teams were just mirrored teams you know, same type of record, same type of personnel, whether it's the point guard play, uh, whether it's Dante Green going up against Earl Clark, who also to me is in the MVP uh, discussions right now, and then Josh Powell and Amir Johnson, both guys can can bang and, and keep plays alive and make second chance buckets, little garbage points. Man, but Trilogy just got off to a hot start. And Killer Threes, man, they just couldn't recover. They got knocked down to pretty much 20 point deficit and man they just couldn't compete it, it, it looked like they were getting banged around out there and, yeah and you know what like trilogy they seem like they're getting better and better and better every single week their gameplay is just getting stronger and tougher and they're looking like the team to beat right now yeah they're looking like that team that may be the first team with three championships in the big three fireball league bro. exactly i mean they they put killer threes out who's been a hot team coming in on a winning streak to this game uh, you know, they, they've always had a reputation of being rough, tough, physical, and being able to put the ball in the hole. And that just has not died, no matter what personnel they have. It's just something about the Trilogy brand that they play. And, and you know, they know how to win it. They, they got experience. Right, right. They've done it. They know who's there. They lose Jared Jack. They don't miss a beat. Isaiah Briscoe steps Yo, up. Yo, man, Isaiah Briscoe didn't just step up, man. He had this, like, fire fuel inside of him. Exactly. Today. Like, I seen it from the – even when they were warming up. Yeah. I can see, okay, something's up with Isaiah Briscoe, man. He's either going to bring it or he's going to be off. But he came. He brought it. He was intense. He was yep. fire from the beginning to the end of the game. And then you got happy Steven Jackson, man. You yeah. got a happy – when you got Steven Jackson happy, you know you, yep. know you did well. Absolutely. Absolutely, and I agree, and I think Isaiah Briscoe, he's my candidate to win too hard to guard, and he's also a candidate in the MVP race, but also Steven Jackson as coach of the year. So you put those three guys together, Steven Jackson, Isaiah Briscoe, Earl Clark right now, who to me right now may be the best two-way player in our league. Uh, leading the league in steals. Told you, he looks like a Greek god, man. Yeah. He, he's like a statue out there, yeah, man. You know, he's all right, I guess. But <laughs> and he got three blocks, and, and, you know, he can score. So he's just a mismatch. And then in three on three, you got to be able to be versatile defensively. He can guard on the perimeter. He can hold his own down low. So, you know, Earl Clark, Trilogy, honestly, they look real promising right now. Absolutely, I'm not going to say they're going to win it all, but oh. they look real Real close to it. All right, man. Congratulations to Trilogy. Moving on. Game two. It was a great one, man. Power. Former Big Three champions, Nancy Lieberman, taking on Rick Mahorn's Aliens. And they got a great record at 5-2. and two. How did they do this week, Thomas? Well, you know, I thought Power, you know, they, they were killing them early on, right? And, and and Aliens just couldn't put the ball in the hole. I thought Dusan missed a lot of shots. And Tomas Ivosev had a great night with his banging down low, his scoring, his physicality. Uh, and, and, you know, even though power was up, what, about 16, 18? Yes, yes. Man, they came back. They started trying to walk them down, and they made a game out of it. It got chippy, right, between Rick Mahorn, Coutinho, Mobley. Big really jump chippy. from Deshaun Stevens, too. Oh, my God. Big plays from D. Steve. So, man, two teams. I thought Aliens, you know, they lost this one, right? And I thought they may, their season may be done. But... They still have a chance. They're in the playoffs, actually, by the point system because Killer Threes lost by such a big deficit, 20-plus, and then Aliens kind of losing by such a short deficit. So, so that's how it works, Thomas. Yeah, when, when it came down to that for those two teams. Because so, they got the same record. Yeah, so Aliens has moved on in advance. If Killer Threes would have made it more of a game, Killer Threes would have advanced to the playoffs. But... Love Man. how you're breaking that down for the fans yeah. out there too, Thomas, so that exactly. they get a better understanding of how this works, the big three fireball, yes. when, especially when it comes to playoff time. Yeah, exactly. And then, man, you know, another thing too, Glenn Rice Jr., I mean, this dude is incredible, man. His four-point shot he knocked down, uh, his his ability to break guys down. Like, all they do is play in space, and he takes the ball out, and he's taking the man to the rim. And he's getting fouls. He's making tough, contorted shots with his body. And... He's a one of one in terms of tough shot making and right now their chemistry is clicking Nancy knows when to push when to pull I, I saw her, you know coaching Royce white up a little bit and you know Royce 
he could be a little tough, right? But Royce respects Nancy, and at the end of the day, her guidance, also Catino Mobley's leadership, is, is willing him to Tampa Bay. So, yeah, man. And that's four games now in a row for Power, you know, who had a rough, tough start, now just cleaning house. Biggest win of, of uh, uh, this weekend for me yep. was Power, man. Huge victory for Power and Nancy Lieberman. Yeah, you called that one out, man. And, and you know, their experience, I think that's what did it. Their experience got them through. As you look at Aliens, you have, you know, you have five rookies. So, uh, you know, Power has won it before. catino has been there. Nancy's been there. Uh, sometimes experience kicks in. But I thought Aliens put up a good fight. It, it, it got chippy. They had a chance. I think I think the missing uh, the missing key was Dusan. He yeah. missed so many shots. Dusan's always there in the game, and that for some reason, just Dusan was a little off today, and that's why Power gets that victory. Yeah, he has the ability to score, but really, what his main craft is is to play make for others. So I think what Nancy did was okay. You're gonna have to be a scorer. We're not going to over rotate. You know, we're gonna make you have to shoot it. We're gonna make you have to score the ball and take Stevenson out. Of the I love game, Nancy Lieberman, man. man. Her yeah. coaching skills are dynamic. They're incredible, man. Shout out to Nancy Yeah, Lieberman. she's up for Coach of the Year as well. So you got to give them a lot of credit. You know, they were almost out of the picture. They scraped, they crawled, they scratched. And now they're in the mix and they're going to Tampa. Yo, congratulations, Power. All right, Tri-State and Three-Headed Monsters. Three-Headed Monsters at the top all by themselves taking on Julius Irvin's Tri-State. And yo, talk about it, T. Because well, Tri-State tri did their, day, their, their thing tonight. Yeah, well, Tri-State, this game... At the end of the day, there, there was mathematically no chance for them to get to the playoffs. So where, where does this game come from for them? What, what's the motivation, right? It's to finish on a good note. Right, and it's to beat the number one seed. Beat the number one seed, mess some things up. Um, and I, and you saw three-headed monsters. They played a lot more Mahmoud on the floor, uh, trying to get him a little bit more acclimated, get his feet under him for the playoffs. And I think just Tri-State just had nothing to lose. They were hungry, and Ray Nixon was on fire and fireball today. What, five three-pointers with a game winner? Hey, man, that's what I always say about this draft pool. It's so deep. And then we also, people don't remember, Ray Nixon was also a tryout guy. So what the Big Three is doing is giving guys opportunities, but also guys that are worthy and deserving and that can actually hoop. So they go from the trials, they go to the combine. You know, it took a minute for him. He's in the pool. Then he gets called up. And then he makes his mark. So what he did was keep his name hot for next season. Absolutely, man. And give him a, a, a major shot of making big three fireball league once again, man. Shout out to you, Ray Nixon. Congratulations to your game. Look, man, three-headed monsters are not out of this by far. But, you know, to, to go from the combine, from the tryouts, to, to be called up to the league, to be high five by the great Dr. J, to hit game-winning shots. You saying the best, Thomas. You can start from a, a, a tryout out and become a star in the big three yeah man i mean that's the genius of ice cube and, and what he's put together here for this platform giving these guys opportunity to showcase their talent and really work their way from the ground up obviously he stayed prepared he's in great shape he can play uh it wasn't a cakewalk for him and at the end of the day he stayed ready and if you stay ready you don't have to get ready tat absolutely man yo man one more time man a huge shout out to Ray Nixon and Tri-State. Unfortunately, they're not in the playoffs. Unfortunately, their season is over, but they go out with a bang. Yeah, they do. They get a win. For, for me, I always feel like at some point, Dr. J has to win his own trophy. I think it would be cool, but it's gonna happen. there's no influence of, of me or anybody else that could make that happen. That is all in their own hands. So, hey, they got to look at the drawing board. Jay Rich, uh, Justin Dentman, Larry Sanders, they got to watch some of the film of the season. And then they got to decide what is it going to take for them to get to the next level. Because I thought they had a, a good roster. Uh, also, you know, Dewan Summers, who I thought was one of the standouts in the combine. And at the end of the day, it's the big three. Anything can happen any, any week at the big three. Big three.